Alright, I'm headed into Pictionline because I have this cool new Canon R50 that I'm vlogging with, and I want to know the difference between the Canon R50 and the Canon R10. Both have 24 megapixel APS-C sensors, both have electronic image stabilization, both have 4K video, both are great for content creation. So what is the difference? Let's go find out. Here's the Canon R10. This is the Canon R10. I'm recording on the Canon R50. Yes. Kenny? Yeah? What's the difference between these two? Uh, yeah. So the R10 is the bigger model. It's got a bigger grip on it, so it's more comfortable. Yeah, this one's kind of a smaller grip. Yeah, it's not as comfortable, but it's still great. Um, honestly, some of the biggest features boil down to like the video specs. So the R50 will do 4K at 30 frames per second in the 422 10-bit. This one? Yes. Okay. The R10 will do 4K 422 10-bit at 4K 60. That's nice. Yeah, so it's got higher recording functions. The R10 will also do like 23 photos per second in electronic shutter, whereas the R50 does like 15 photos per second with the electronic shutter, so the burst speeds. And then if you just look at the back, this uh, has more have, buttons. You have the little nub. Yeah, the nubby nub. <laughs> I think really that's one of the big differences. This one has like a auto plus enhanced. Do you have that? I don't know what auto plus enhanced is. All right, well, let me tell you something about this. I have auto plus though. I have auto plus double <laughs> enhanced. I have advanced auto plus. Compositing other advanced processes based on scene text with the camera. Anyways, it shoots like a phone. It uses a bunch oh. of takes and puts them all together. Look, mine has that too. Whatever. No, not the same. Look, no, it's I can not take the a same. really cool photo of you. See, there you go. Look, no more shadows because yeah. that's 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 what real life is. And look like. how much better it made me look. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Kenny. Yes. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go into the secret studio. All right. And exposure. Sweet. I am going to the secret studio where we have our YouTube set up. And on this channel, we test different things between the R50 and the R10. I'm running with the R50, and I have my colleague here, Sarah. Come on in, Sarah. Hello, Jane. She has the R10. The R10, the better camera. Classy well, version. We'll, we'll see about that. Yeah, we Cause look how good testing. this looks. Look how good this blocking camera is. Do you see this one? Look, and it, like, look, it's staying on my eye. Really and that cool. is pretty good, but, R so good. but you're on the R10 versus R50 YouTube channel right now. Okay. And we're gonna test something very important right here, right now. First up, how close can you focus and how fast do these cameras pull their focus? Okay? I love it. What'd you bring? The perfect test subject. Oh no. You Mascara. Did. This movement, you know what I think of? Makeup tutorials. Content creators. I may or may not have watched. That's what the internet's made out of. I did learn how to contour my face with that. <laughs> What setting are you using on yours, on your R10? So I am just in the movie auto, auto exposure mode with the focus being just like full area focus. The full auto area focus. focus. Auto focus, full area focus, yes. And I'm using a special mode on the R50, unique to the R50, mind you, the close-up movie mode. So supposedly it focuses on my face, but the moment I make something close, it focuses up to something close. Okay. So let's see how well it performs. Yeah. All right. Mascara's up. Can we bring it by our face? Is that what we do? Well, yeah. I mean, we're just talking about... Yeah, yeah. So we're talking about, you know, look at my eyelashes. They look so beautiful. Oh, your eyelashes Here's are so great. Yes, Thank yes, you. yes, yes. Like Thank this. you. Yes, and, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then... But which product are you using? Then we show it? product. Yeah. Okay. So at the same time, we're going to go... Close. One, two, three, go. One, close. two, three, go. Did yours pull focus yet? Not yet. Because mine did. Oh, yours is, yours is focusing on me. I need to look, not look at okay. yours. You know what? You know, look, I can do this all day. Focuses on me, focuses on my it's mascara. Focuses on, on me, focuses on my mascara. You know what? No, I'm not focusing on you. All right, I need, to not, I need to be out of your frame. Okay, ready? Go. All right, that okay. wasn't too bad. That wasn't that too wasn't bad. That wasn't horrible, but it, yours it's, is definitely It's not better. good when you have two people in the frame. Yeah. Like, look at this. This is just fun. Look at this. I can even have two people up here. Yeah. You can be on my makeup channel. That's true. And then look at this cool product we're oh, using. Oh, that's every amazing. time. Look at yeah. that. Look at that. Yeah. Way better. It doesn't matter. Way better. This one, 
This one doesn't know what it, it's not made. I have to get out of your YouTube like this channel. One, that one wasn't too bad. I can't so be in your it. I can't be in your makeup tutorial. That's, That's true. why. It See, there's two bad. of us. Look, it focuses oh, on me. It does focus on you. All right. Okay. Well, R50 is definitely better for Earth. Er, That's the verdict. Yeah. R50 wins the close-up focus speed test. All right. We just did a photo shoot, taking the photos of the same things with both of these cameras, so that we can compare. So Sarah, yes. let's compare. On the R50, I was using yes. the advanced A plus mode, which is, uses computational photography to make the image, and it only shoots in JPEGs. Yours can right. shoot in RAW and JPEGs in the A plus and mode. And there's A plus, because I don't have, so we both have A plus, but you have advanced A plus. Which is essentially shoots like Where? a smartphone. Okay. All right, so our first image here is we were shooting through a window yes. to see how well it pulled those highlights and those shadows. Mm -hmm. And I, because I'm using that advanced computational photography mode, it's trying to raise those shadows. Yes. So I have a little bit more in my highlights, I feel like. I can see a little bit of the mountains through the window. One, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah my, and mine definitely looks darker. It's not pulling the highlights. It's, it's more contrast. The shadows are more contrasty. So this next one is a portrait. Mm -hmm. mine, mine is trying to even out the lighting across yeah, my face that's true. just like how when i take a photo on my iphone yep. of someone with they have shadows on their face yeah it tries to even it out yep and this one has more contrast which i mean it's moodier product shot mascara on the wood top you take yeah. you take pictures of the products that you're <laughs> repping on youtube yeah. here we go you know i don't know if i can tell the difference between these like if you i, I don't know if i could tell which one is the r50 or the r10 but both of them focus pretty close, so there yeah. was no difference essentially with how close we get to the mm -hmm. product. Mm -hmm. Flip up the flash, yeah. take a photo, boom. All right. Yeah, super easy. Flashes are in style nowadays. Yeah, because it's 90s style. That's what we discussed. <laughs> Internet, We're are back. flashes cool now? It's like, is that what people want? It's flash? a 90s style photo. I don't, I like the more contrast with it. Again, these ones, I don't know if I can tell the difference between these two. Yeah. Yours, well. yours looks more 90s style. Yeah. All right. That's probably why I like it. Inside the store. Okay. Let's compare apples to apples. All right. Well, they look pretty close. I would yeah. say that these are that those are equal. Yeah, I would say. Thanks, Sarah, for being on my R50 versus R10 YouTube channel. Thanks for having me. There you have it. The vlog between the R50 and the R10. With the R50 coming in a couple hundred bucks cheaper than the R10, this camera offers quite a bit for something that is really easy to use. So. Really, it kind of boils down to getting the right camera that works best for you. So, there you have it. How's, how's my vlog right now? Yeah. How's yeah! Content! Content! Is this content, Sarah?